One day, when Miriam was praying under the sun at her aunt's house, an angel in the form of a human descended upon her by Allah's will. The angel said, I have a message from Allah. Allah gives good news that you will soon have a child whose name is Jesus Christ. He will be famous in this world and the next, and he will be close to Allah. Maryam said, Allah. How can I have a child when no man has touched me? The angel said, It is one of the signs of Allah's power that his spirit is breathed into your body, and Jesus is born. He will speak in the cradle and is one of the chosen ones. Allah will teach him the knowledge of the book, wisdom, the Torah, and the Bible. And as soon as the angel disappeared, pure Mary looked at herself and found herself like pregnant women, close to giving birth. When she told this news to her aunt, she was surprised and said, this has never happened before. What will people say? Miriam didn't know what to answer for fear of people's slander. But with the guidance of unseen inspiration, she left her aunt's house and went on the desert road until she reached a palm tree. It wasn't more than nine hours after the arrival of the angel that Jesus was born. When Miriam saw her baby, she said, What happened? I wish I had died before and not seen this day. But she heard a voice that said, O oh Miriam, don't be sad. Allah has made a clear spring flow under your feet and made a dry tree green for you. Shake the tree so that the new dates fall. At that time, it was not the date season, but as soon as Miriam shook the tree, the new dates fell, and a blue stream flowed from the tree's foot. The voice said, O oh Miriam, eat and drink and let your eyes be bright, and if someone asks you something today, point out that it is the day of silence. You don't talk to anyone until Allah shows the signs of his power to people. At this time, Miriam's aunt, who was worried and came to look for her, arrived and saw Miriam with Jesus and had to bring the mother and child home. The women of the neighborhood gathered and scolded her, saying, O oh Miriam, you have brought something strange. You, whose father was a good person and your mother was a pious woman, what is this situation that you have a child without a husband? Miriam did not answer and pointed to Jesus, indicating they should ask the child himself. People laughed and said, How can we talk to a baby? There was a time when Miriam had to be saved from slander. Baby Jesus spoke in the cradle and said to the people, Indeed, I am the servant of Allah. Allah gave me a book and chose me and made me a source of blessing and mercy wherever I am, and in my life, he ordered me to worship, pray, give alms and do good to my mother. I am not cruel and wretched, and I deserve greetings and greetings, from the day I was born to the day I leave the world and the day I will be resurrected people fell silent. A group of people believed in this miracle and spread the news around that a child was born among the children of Israel who had no father and whose mother was not married to any man. This child speaks in the cradle and claims that he is God's chosen one and a messenger of religion, books, and wisdom. People heard the news, and some accepted it, while others denied it. The news reached the Jewish scholars. Some people accepted it and said, we were waiting for someone like this, while others did not accept it and said, everything that is necessary is in the Torah, and the book does not come from heaven every day.